Hello, y'all. Now, we are continuing with the Mario's Medicine series. As usual, we're doing 15 power-ups in each, in each part. So let's quit blabbering and get started. Alright. Bee Mushroom. Turns you into Bee Mario and lets you... What does it say? Hover up for a bit. You can also climb honey walls. Alright. I think this is the very first time where I actually drew Super Mario instead of Little Mario, because if you remember, it was in part one, I think, maybe. Um, you're always Super Mario in Mario Galaxy, it doesn't matter if you have low health or anything, but but anyways, alright, moving on. Cloud Flower. Kind of wish I drew this part of the flower a little bigger, but anyways. Um, turns you into Cloud Mario and gives you three platforms to jump on. Alright, Super Ball Flower. Now, a lot of you probably haven't heard of this one. Uh, I, was, I had a couple guys at school who were like, what in the world is that? And, uh, um, let me explain. So, it was basically the Fire Flower for Super Mario Land on the Game Boy, but... It, it's not quite the same. Let's see what it's, the description says. Let's you throw these things called Super Balls, which are basically the same as Fireballs, only you can collect coins with them. Yeah, so it's, you couldn't do that, that with Fireballs, so, but you can with these. Now, on the Game Boy was black and white, so um, this is probably what it would look like if it were in color, but anyways... It's kind of weird that it has a red stem instead of like a green stem, but anyways. Alright, moving on. Rainbow Star, another duplicate. Let's see what it says here. Makes you invincible. It's the Super Mario Galaxy series equivalent of a superstar. They were turned into rainbows so you wouldn't be confused with Power Stars, the main collectibles. That's a lot to squeeze into a little square right there. But yeah, so... It, it's a, a power, it's a, it's a superstar, but, but they made it rainbow, cause they didn't want you to con con be confused with, you know, the power stars, you know, so, and Mario's, this little circle on Mario's hat is completely, okay, that's really close, I didn't mean for it to get that close, but anyways, but it's completely red, I, I must have forgot to draw an M there, but anyways, alright, moving on, cannon box, let you shoot infinite cannonballs. So the box changes color depending on the character that wears it. Cool. Alright. Dash Pepper. And uh, this is the first power up exclusive to Yoshi. It says. Makes you run extremely fast and. Or sorry. Makes Yoshi run extremely fast and he can run up to walls. He cannot stop until the power up wears off. Yeah, that can be a little frustrating when you can't stop running, but anyways, alright, moving on. Gold Mushroom. Now, if it, uh, let's read the description for this one real quick. Gives you 50 coins, yeah, that's all it does. So, some people would say, oh, if it just gives you coins, how is it a power-up? Well, if it's a mushroom, it's gotta be a power-up, right? Well, anyways, <clears throat> Spin Drill. Some people would say this is not a power-up either, because... It's more of a tool than a power-up, but... What the heck, we're just gonna call it a power-up, okay? It's not like a... It's not like a... What are they called? A pow block, yeah. Um, those aren't power-ups. If they made something like a pow block flower, where you can just... Where it transform you into some sort of costume and then... Excuse me. Um... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um... It lets you explode whenever you want or whatever. That would be a power up. But if the power block on its own is not a power up, but I think this is. Um, let's see what it says. It lets you drill holes through dirt. All right. Piranha plant. Um, kills enemies and collects items from a distance. Cool. Um, again, some people would not consider this a power up. But, what the heck, we're just going to say it is, because 
it's an enemy, but they you can carry it around in Super Mario 3D World. So, excuse me for a second. I think I'm gonna sneeze. I've been seizing a hell of a lot lately. Like it's not even funny. <laughs> I don't. It might, might be allergy season or something. But anyways, all right. Moving on. <laughs> Frog suit. Now, I showed these to my teacher at school, and she recognized. She didn't recognize most of them. There were only like a few that she recognized, and this was one of the very few that she recognized. She was like, "Oh, I do remember the frog suit." So yeah, that's good that you remember it. But anyways, so let's see what it says here. It allows you to swim much faster. Okay, cool. All right, Bulbberry. Makes Yoshi glow and brings non-existent platforms into existence. That's pretty lit. All right, Red Star. L lets you fly for a long period of time. That's pretty cool. Um, could you, it was in Super Mario Galaxy 1, I think. I don't think it was in 2, but I'm not sure. And uh, it was only in the hub world. So yeah, that kind of sucks. But anyways, alright, last one. Cape Feather. Okay, that's pathetic right there. I, I, it doesn't look like a feather, it looks like a freaking potato. But anyways, uh, moving on. So, let's just soar through the air really fast. Cool. Alright, Super Bell. Turns you into Cat Mario, which allows you to climb... Allows you to run much, run faster, climb up walls and a bit, for a bit, and scratch enemies. Lit. Alright, last one for today. Blimp Fruit. Makes Yoshi inflate into a balloon, and he floats upward until... All the steam comes out of his mouth. Basically, Yoshi's version of a power balloon. Alright. And don't be confused. He's not barfing or anything. But anyways. So, I don't usually do this, but... We might be doing two of these Mario Medicine parts today. I'm not sure. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let's do two. So, yeah. Um, that was this episode. Or not episode. That was this part. I'll see you in part four. And we're finally a little bit over halfway done. Man, there's a lot of freaking power-ups. We're only at 45. Okay, well, I'll see you then. Goodbye.